activity is called backboard. And we are working on overhand throwing with this one. Here's some items you're gonna need for this one. Some kind of ball that you're gonna have the kids use for throwing. Cones and bean bags. And then hula hoops. You can see hula hoops. I have a hula hoop on this side and you can't quite see it, but there's another hula hoop behind you on this side. We have it set up right now for our second through fourth grade because the distance we vary on throwing. For fifth on up, I would have them go from uh, baseline to baseline. So they're going to throw this way instead. So I put my cones up down the half court line. So here's what this is going to do. Divide your class into two teams, one side and the other. They must stay on their side of the cones when throwing the ball. As I explain, I'll tell you where my layers are for grade level one. So I have to be on my side of the ball, let's say in second grade. Find a ball on my side of the gym, and then I'm gonna throw it across the gym to hit the backboard on my other side. Okay, so I've got a total of four. So I've got two here, and then I got two more down there. So I've got a couple targets that they can throw. When I throw the ball, I'm trying to hit the backboard. You, you may have heard it, I hit the net. Now, I cannot reach over here to get the ball. I had to come back here somewhere to find the ball. Let's say this ball is here anyway, so I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna throw it. So when my ball hits the backboard, I burn a point for my team, I'm gonna come get a bean bag, and then I carry it over to my team's hula hoop, place it in my team's hula hoop. Now I find another ball, and I keep throwing, okay? I can be anywhere on my side of the gym when throwing. Okay, so like I said, second grade we gave up to the cone space. For third grade and fourth grade, we kind of moved them a little bit further back, depending on your skill set of your students. Um, I, I don't know if you can see my red line, but I have a red line that went from the basketball key line over all the way across, so we had them back up a little bit. Fourth grade, we backed up even a little bit more, back here to the green line. Again, they can go anywhere on their side to get a ball, but they have to return back behind that line to do their throwing. Okay, so in the fifth grade of the end, we went this way. Some levels and variations as you play. So we uh, let the kids, once all the beat bags are gone, we find a winning side to determine a point. I've got my number. Uh, I started numbering these, uh, not only so it helps kids remember when we use them individually to know their number, but when we go to find a winner, I can say count red ones, count yellow ones. Hey, who has yellow 18? You're my winner, kind of thing. They bring it back and then we uh, go to level Two. So in the next round, we let them grab two bean bags if they hit the small square on the backboard. Level three was when they throw it, if it goes inside the basket, they can take three. Still, again, if it hits that small square, two. If it hits the backboard, in general, it would, would have been worth one. Um, they don't get it added up. I hit the backboard, it goes in, I don't get four. I get the three. Uh, so we did that. Then I also added another la layer for catching. And you can add this layer in whenever you want to. You can start with it. Um, you can add it after round one or two, whatever you feel uh, the need. We also had it so if the students caught the ball before it hit the ground or hit the backboard, if they catch the ball, they can also get a bean bag for their team. So I added that aspect. The kids seem to really like that one, especially the ones who struggled with throwing, throwing it to hit the backboard. They were still throwing, but they were also were looking at catching the ball too. So there is those variations for you, and I hope your students will enjoy this one. I'm Coach Pro reminding you to keep on moving.